video I'm going to talk about what is H index and how to find H index and how to find a professor which have very high H index. So if you have a high H index mean you are a good researcher. So let's go here and see basically um, what is basically H index here and how to find H index, how we calculate. Basically H index represent that how many of your paper got how many citations simply means that uh, if you have h index 12 here so this means that your 12 papers got 12 citations this is very simple formula if you have h index 12 for example my h index is 12 here you see here this means that my 12 papers got at least 12 citation or more than that let's count it Let's count it. My 12 papers got at least 12 citations or more than it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Until it's 8 here. 9, 10, 11, 12. You see here 12. So this means that my 12 papers got at least 12 citations or more than that. But if you come here to this 13 paper, so if it was 13 and it was more than 13 so we can say that my h index is 13 but it is it is below than the the 12th one this is the 12th and this is the 12th number paper this means my h index is 12 here okay this is very very interesting and for example how to find a, a professor which have very high h index so this h index basically represent that uh, uh, if you look into my professor for example a rajan jose so uh, if you see h index is 51 so a good researcher h index should be equal to his age my professor says like that so my h index is 12 and i'm 34. now web of science is a best platform uh, to search uh, uh, the professor which have a high h index if you come here and see web of science here so basically uh, you see highly cited researcher in 2009 you see here so mean high si highly cited researcher mean that uh, those people are uh, very highly cited and they are uh, a good researcher you see so you can uh, uh, see here a uh, web of science here uh, uh, so you can find highly uh, you see you can highly cited researcher list you can also download here you see this is very interesting and you can also <laughs> find the category here that you see these are the people here you see this guy you can see view the profile and this guy you can view the profile here so i mean that uh, wave of sense is uh, also uh, provide you see here his, his age index is 26 here you see and total uh, publication is this much and the research field is here you see environmental sociology and blah 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 so this means that uh, you can see direct free fall here you see a lot of people here and this is uh, second third you see so many people are here you see 624 625 so you can see people here using web sense here and you can also target uh, name institution for example a category region uh, everything you can uh, 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 search here so this means that h index play very important role and this means that uh, h index h index shows that how many of your papers publish how many of your papers got citation that much this means my h index is 12 here so this means my 12 paper got at least 12 citation or more than that now i index is something different i index i i 10 index means that how many paper got citation at least 10 or more than that that is called i10 this is very simple so if you wish to find <coughs> my item is 13 here so look here my 13 paper will get citation 10 or more than that so so far here is 7 7 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 here is 8 here 9 10 11 12 13 you see here 
it is a 10 now my 13 papers got at least 10 citation or more than that so this is one of the best way to uh, tell someone that uh, we have HNDX that something like that for example this is my curriculum meta and I put here my HNDX score here you see my HNDX is 12 so it is a very good factor that you can impress someone that you and you can uh, convince them that uh, my 12 papers got citation at least 12 time or more than 12 times so this is how google scholar work here and people you can also take the screenshot here or a snipping tool and put in your cv at the at below for example uh, i just give you a, a recommendation that you can take the sniffing tool here from here and when you take the sniffing tool so you just take the uh, image from this and you can put in your uh, you can put in your CV here for example take this here you see and you can tell someone that this is my Google Scholar you see here so you can tell someone that my Google Scholar citation is this much here so this means that you can put this in your CV here it's a, it's a good approach here so this is all about the uh, Google Scholar and I will further work on our uh, Web of Science here that what is Web of Science and how it works thanks for watching